Good afternoon, everyone. How you guys doing today? Whew. So, in between uh, cuts, I honestly just felt like cleaning up the place. Because, let's be honest, it looked, it was ugly. <laughs> uh, I mean, not, not create, it was just my genuine mess that I had. Um, I managed to, like, compact a lot of this stuff. Like, before there was, like, two belts right into here. Uh, now it's just one. I also moved this over one. I also moved this over one again just to free up some space. This was originally like in front of uh, the speedometer or, or stress mirror. Now I moved it behind. Uh, let's see what else, what else did I do? Um, I rearranged the cog so that way it's actually lined up with this. So that way it's using one belt instead of two. Over here, I did a lot of things. Uh, for starters, so over here, I did, uh, this is still the same. Um, I added a gray crafter for, like, all my smelting because, um, this is not really intuitive in terms of, like, getting around, but, yeah. I actually added a smelting, uh, mechanic. So, the crafter will put the items onto the belt which would then go up to here. This filter prevents just about anything from going through. Like right now, the filter is set to just glass and stone. I could just add more onto that. But the way how uh, the smelting mechanic works is actually is that there's a fan behind that pool of lava right there. And, it, and the fan is pushing the lava onto the belt. The trap door is to prevent the lava from flowing on there. Also, the reason I have this whole thing encased up is because that will set me on fire. Um, over here, I also completed, like, the crushing um, ingot, or nuggets into ingots. I just added a uh, quick brass funnel that would only allow ingots to go through. And that would go onto here, which would then go into my system. Over here is where I have a hopper botany pot with an oak sapling. This would allow me to get infinite wood. Interestingly enough though, before botany pots in 1.12, there were bonsai trees. That mod actually forced you to have at least a one block space above the uh, bonsai tree. Botany pots and botany trees, which is the add-on for botany pots, doesn't allow, doesn't have that restriction. So I could do things like this, nice and compact. But it's really slow. I think that's all the changes I did in between episodes. Honestly, my plan for this whole episode was basically just recapping on what I did. Oh, and I made it so that way the uh, <clears throat> kelp farm is doing four at a time rather than just one or two. Uh, let me fill this back up. Oh, and I just made this look fancier. That is just mesmerizing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, that exporter, though, is actually an advanced uh, exporter from Extra Storage, I believe. That's an add-on for refined storage. And it, it's basically, instead of having, like, nine slots, it's actually 18 slots. I think what I'm gonna try to do today is hopefully get an Ender Pearl. Let's see if I can go find uh, an Enderman and see if I can slaughter him. The slaughter begins with gas. You know, just for just for stupid reasons, I'm gonna see what happens if I do. <laughs> oh my! Internal game design. That's awesome. Ha. <laughs> ah. Well, I don't got to make a new sleeping bag. Well. Uh. Okay, then. Wow, this is the first time I ever witnessed, uh. Yeah. I mean, I knew something like this was going to happen, but I didn't know it would be this big of an explosion. Well, there goes my freaking bed. Goodness. Hmm.
I feel like this is the hole that I made when I was trying to dupe wool. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> Woohoo! Cool. Cool. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> one step closer. One one step closer. Oh boy. <laughs> oh what on earth? Why are you guys spilling into Oh, that doesn't work. Uh-huh. Up there. I hope this works. Woo! Oh, it does. Awesome! Yeah. Didn't see that. Alright. Uh, enough fooling around. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye!